Hi everyone, I'm going to keep this video pretty short. Uh, today's uh, homework was the metric unit conversions length sheet and where we are converting centimeters to meters and vice versa, meters to centimeters. The first thing you need to think about is simply just which is bigger, um, a meter or a centimeter. Um, a meter stick is one of those big, long sticks like this one. So this is called a meter stick. It is a measuring tool that is one meter in length. If we look at it more closely, we see that it's subdivided into a smaller unit. Uh, that smaller unit is centimeters. So the space from one to the other, or these larger ticks, the, one, the numbered ticks, is one centimeter. These little teeny ones, um, those are millimeters. Um, there are 100 centimeters to make one meter. And if you notice, there are 10 of these little ticks to make one centimeter. So 10 millimeters equals one centimeter, and one centimeter, uh, t rather 100 centimeters equals a meter. So 1,000 millimeters make up one meter. So let's come back around to my original question, which is bigger, a meter or a centimeter? A centimeter is much smaller, so the meter is the bigger unit, and what that means is when you measure something, it's going to take fewer meters to measure the same object as um, it, it would take centimeters. So let's do an example quick. I'm measuring uh, one of our cabinets here at school. As you can see, uh, because it is not going all the way to the end, that this cabinet is one, less than one meter wide. Uh, let's take a closer look. So it turns out that the cabinet is 88 centimeters wide. Now, what if we wanted to know the length in meters? We know it's less than one meter, uh, because otherwise it would be the whole meter stick in its width, or, or larger. So I'm going to have to do some math. So let's start with 88 centimeters. I know that there are 100 centimeters to every meter. So a centimeter is one one hundredth of a meter. What that means is that if I divide the number of centimeters by the number of centimeters that it takes to make one meter, um, that I can find the length in meters. So 88 centimeters divided by 100 equals meters. Uh, how, how many, however many meters it will be, blank meters. And this is the part where we just have to kind of use some reasoning to remember how, whether I'm going to multiply or divide, and by how much. We have to understand the metric units, um, and then just figure out what operation we're using. And, and that's why the sheet that I sent you with only has meters to centimeters. Let's just focus on those for a moment and forget about all the other metric units. That way we can really understand what's going on. Um, here's another way I know that I'm dividing and not multiplying. I know it's 88 centimeters. So if I were to multiply by 100, and we'll call that the conversion factor, um, then I would end up with 8,800 meters. Now we know a meter is much bigger than a centimeter. So if there were 8,800 of them, then that's much too much. That's a huge distance. And we're talking about a little tiny cabinet. So we know that can't be right. So that leads me to believe that I have to divide because I'm going to have fewer meters than centimeters. Um, then this becomes a, a straightforward place value problem. I have 88 divided by 100, so why don't I set that up in a place value chart? Put the decimal point there. Um, I'm dividing by 100, so which way am I going to be shifting? I'm going to be shifting down the place value chart. So I'm going to take this 8, and I'm going to move it how many steps? Two steps, because 100 is 10 times 10, so it's two shifts on the place value chart. 
and I'm going to do the same with the other eight. And the decimal point stays still, and I know then I have zero ones. So I think this answer would be best expressed as zero point eight eight meters. If I was converting from meters to centimeters, because there are um, 100 centimeters in a meter, I would have to end up with a larger number. Let's do an example of that quick. That's me. I'm just about 1.8 meters tall. So what if I wanted to find out how tall I am in centimeters? Well, am I going to multiply or divide here? Remember that centimeters are very small. So if I divide by 100 to convert meters to centimeters, I'm going to end up with a tiny, tiny number. I'm going to end up with 0 0.018, uh, 18 thousandths. I mean, so it wouldn't make sense for me to be 18 thousandths of a centimeter tall. So that can't be right. So I'm multiplying because there are more... I'm going to, end, I'm going to need to end up with more centimeters than meters. Again, I'm running out of space over here. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, so 1.8 meters times 100 will give me the answer in centimeters. And then again, even though there's meters and centimeters involved, this becomes a very straightforward place value problem. I bet you can solve this one on your own. In fact, pause it for a second and try to solve it. All right, so I'm going to do this one mentally. I'm going to imagine the place value chart. I'm going to imagine shifting 1.8 to the left twice. I know it's twice because it's times 100. So one shift would turn 1.8 into 18. The second shift would turn it into 180. So I am just about 180 centimeters tall. Hopefully that gives you enough um, to knock out the homework sheet. Um, and if you have any other questions about this metric conversion, I, I hope you'll ask me. Um, we're gonna, it's going to get a little more complicated because we're not just going to do meters and centimeters. We'll also do millimeters and kilometers. Um, and uh, we'll use things other than length. We will be measuring um, weight, volume, capacity, uh, area perhaps. So all sorts of things. So, um, But the main thing is that we need to start learning... Uh, what the metric prefixes mean, so things like centi means one one hundredth, and we'll be practicing all of these, so don't worry if this doesn't come instantly. This is a hard topic, and it's okay to be confused about this for a while. All right, have, have a good night.